The weather outside just really sucks. <laughs> I never heard of Saint Department before. Oh, you know what? It's probably Saint Dept. So as we put a fork in it, let's look back at 2022 and the books maybe I read that were pretty the best. I only read 21 books in 22. That's it's kind of weak. sad. I know there are a lot of people, a lot of booktubers too, that read a lot more. Some don't remember what they read, so they have to tell you what the book was about by reading the dust jacket to you, even though they're their favorite books of the year. You know, that's that's not their fault, of course. They've just read like 70 books, so they just can't possibly remember all the books they read. Can they? I don't know. Not my business. I'm not here for them. So I'm here for you and me, most importantly me, and I'm going to tell you my favorite books of the year. Now, these are not all books that were published in 22 necessarily for the first time ever, but this is my first time reading them, so what the hell? One is notably not now that I look at them. So let's get into it. And I have six books in this pile because two are from the same author and I thought that wasn't fair. I wanted to do my top five reads, but I could not bounce either of these books out of my favorite reads of the year. So they're both in here and because of that, I included six. I'll put the full list of the books I read this year in the description so you can see what other books were there um, that didn't make the cut. There is one book that I also almost included because it is a perfect book. It's a five-star read, but it didn't give me the same emotional payoff that these six did. So while it was a perfect book, it didn't quite make the list. That was The Handmaid's Tale. Excellent book. Brilliant book. But when I just look back at 22 and I look at all the books I read, these screamed out at me. So what were they? First up was Sarah Pimborough's Insomnia. Now, I didn't think I was a thriller reader. I'm a horror guy. I like dark. I like it dark and dark. So quick page turners, twisty page turners. Don't normally speak to me, but I have such a soft spot for Sarah Pimborough. She is a great author. I've loved everything I've read by her, and this was no exception. This is Twisty AF. I highly recommend you read it. I interviewed Sarah Pamboro about this book this year, so you can go check that out. And um, I don't think it's spoilery, but it's been a while since I did that interview, so beware. I would read this book and then watch the interview is how I would go about it because I am paranoid. This uh, also reminded me a lot of They Say a Girl Died Here Once, which is an Earthling edition, the very first Sarah Pimborough book I read. But damn, this was so good. Um, and I bought this one from VJ Books as a signed first edition. Highly recommend you read it in any form. The next book is Animal Farm by... Um, George Orwell. This is the Suntup Artist Edition, which is among their finest artist editions to date. I'm sure there will be something that comes along that uh, makes this one a little lower on the list, but right now it is the absolute best artist edition with art by Omar Rayan. I did not read this one. I read a gritty, dirty, cringy, creased paperback. Loved it. This is a book without exception should be read every year by everybody who values freedom, individual liberty, and um, non-tyrannical governments, maybe. Gotta read it. Gotta read 1984. I'm overdue for a reread of 1984. But just a brilliant book that you can't even argue with. You read this book... And there are some things that are just truth. You, you can't argue with this book. I suppose you can and be wrong. But this book is a milestone of thought. I don't think I need to explain what it's about. Uh, since it is a book that is older than I am by far. But it endures. The truth in it endures. So I would recommend you read it. A perfect book. Up next is an everything book. This book has everything. 
horror, supernatural, crime drama, police procedural. It is amazing. And it is the first book I have in my pile from Philip Fricasse, but it is not the last one. This is A Child Alone with Strangers. This is a brand new book, just came out this year. Amazing stuff. I gave a review on it. I also interviewed Philip Fricasse a number of times on my channel. Um, not necessarily about this book, but I will be talking to him soon about other books. Seriously, I got to set that up. But this has everything. This strikes the same vibe as classic Stephen King. I don't think I've found anybody who didn't absolutely love this book or at least like it very, very much um, and want to go into relationship with it for some time. 600 pages, so it's, it's a commitment. I got this book from VJ. There is no limited edition of the book yet. There should be. This is a book that deserves it. This is a five-star read. Like I said, you can check out my review of this book, but it's gotten mad praise from so many sources. And if you haven't read it, make time, read it in 23. But read it if you, if you like horror. Now, if you've been paying attention, you've noticed I didn't give like a ranking to any of these. I am going to end with my absolute most favorite book of the year. But these other ones aren't in necessarily any particular order. So I've just been saying up next. But up next is Cannibal Creator by Chad Lutsky. He says this is his worst book. It is not his worst book. This is uh, different than his other books, but it is balls to the wall fun, gruesome, and it's... <laughs> it's it's a, a warning. It's got a warning on there. Uh, cannibalistic terror and brutality. Though I would not call it extreme. Yes, cannibalism is kind of extreme. It is the last taboo um, in in civilization. But I don't want to say too much about this book. Cannibal Creator kind of tells you what it's about. It is a group of people crash land on an island and brutality ensues. Beyond that, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but there, the reveal and the things that go on in this book are so original. And th I mean, to put it on my top, my top six of 2022, for sure. Uh, if you've never read Chad Lutsky, it's funny, it's a Chad Lutsky film. If you've never read Chad Lutsky, do yourself a favor, pick up anything by the guy and enjoy what follows. Uh, but <laughs> I can't recommend this enough. The next book is Echo by Thomas Olde Hoovelt. This is his second book that was translated to English. So it's the second book I've had the pleasure to read and it is the second book to prove that he is an author I will read no matter what. It is a go-to read if I see Thomas Oldehuvelt on the cover and English inside, I am going to read that book. This is an amazing book. His first book was Hex. That was brilliant in it on its own. Loved that book to pieces. This I liked even more. This is very gothic. It's a love story. It's a possession story. And it is creepy. It turns creepy and utterly beautiful. Um, I, I did a review on this book. And I said how I hadn't been scared by a book in a long time. And the last book I really got frightened by was a Stephen King book. This book scared me, chilled me to the bone. And it's not just the opening sequence which catches everybody. That is a that is an uppercut to the jaw, that opening uh, prologue. <clears throat> but it's not just that. It is throughout. Mm, fantastic read. Now, I don't think you can get it from VJ Books. I don't think so. I bought this one direct from Thomas Old Hoovelt, And I got a nice note in there. And a fantastic signature. Um, 
you haven't read Echo by Thomas Oldehuvelt or Hex, get them, enjoy them. He has another one coming out called Oracle. That's the next one to be translated to English. Um, I'm going to try to get an advanced review copy of Oracle once that's available in English and then have Thomas Oldehuvelt back on the channel to talk about it. And finally, my favorite book from 2022 is Don't Let Them Get You Down by Philip Fricasse. Like I said, um, only one author made my list twice in the top tier. Um, <laughs> and that's because I've read a ton by Philip Fricasse in 22, but also because he's such an exceptional author. This is different than any other Fricasse book. It is more literary. It's darker in, in the theme. It deals with mental health issues, panic attacks, anxiety, depression, how one man tries to cope with um, the loss of his wife and trying to rejoin the world. That seems, it's right there. That world is right there. The community, the people, the socialization is right there. But he is, he's got this wall, this barrier that won't let him participate the way the world expects him to participate and how he grapples with that. And I can't wait to read it again. This is only available from Zagava. Um, there is going to be a trade edition paperback from Zagava. I, I do recommend getting the Zagava hardcover if you can um, because it's a, it's a beautiful book, extremely well done. Um, it is sold out from Zagava, so you gotta go to the secondary. But whatever you do, I, I, gotta, I gotta say, you gotta read this book. It is uh, up there with Butcher Boy and The Road for me. It is one of three towers of in, in my collection. It's a titan in my collection, no doubt. I will read it again. I had to sip it the first time, I think I'll gulp it the next time and enjoy every every word every page even more so probably than I did the first time five star read and um it just hits you know reading is such a personal experience every author reader relationship is different and every book reader relationship is different and 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 this is just perfection i hope it hits the same way for you but those are my top six for 2022. I wanted to read more. I couldn't get any more in there. I'm beginning 23 with a Fricasse title. I'm very excited to get into that one. And I'm going to try to read more in 23. I should have read 22 books in 22. Or I could have just lied about it. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I was supposed to read 11, 22, 63. Uh, but that's a 23 book. I'm going to read that soon. Up next will be a Fricasse, a Keelan Patrick Burke, and uh, Stephen King. Those are on my TBR. But that's 22, man. Uh, tell me what your favorite books are uh, from the last year. Let me, let me see that. Maybe it'll add to my TBR pile or push a book that's already on my TBR to the top because you guys have the best opinions out there. I love hearing from the community about new books and i think 23 i'm going to try to read an extreme horror book just to just to check that box see what all these kids are reading oh you guys are sick sick and nasty but that's it from me for now a lot of great books coming out in 23 including gothic by phil fricasi as well i hope you'll stick around with me in 23 until then stay frosty